All right, welcome to Barbrack channel. Uh, today I'm going to cover uh, how to load some uh, you know music that you have onto your Boss RC500. Now I use this looper for some practicing, and it, it's it's great. For example, if you have something like you know I use this Hal Leonard. Uh, I've been using these kind of a books, play along books uh, for a long while, and I have them, and they're quite uh, nice. And you know, you you get the backing tracks. In this case, I got them on CD. I uh, made MP3s out of them or ripped them because who uses CDs anymore, right? Uh, but um, in order to load this, you know, to uh, RC500, it requires a very particular uh, format of these uh, files. So you can't just uh, load anything. So I have a few of these, as I said, uh, uh, MP3s that I logged, but you know, they're MP3s, and if I want to load them here into. Oh! Let me connect first. So uh, I'm just going to go and plug this in, you know, and it's it's a bit annoying how this works when you want to connect it to uh, your PC, it, you can't just plug it in like any other device, you, you still need to go with, you know, power supply, of course, it would be too easy if it was just that, you know, you can't just do it like that, you need to, pl you need to plug it in output at least you know and now it's working so it's connected let's see if uh, yeah all right so this got connected uh, now if I try to import something you see I here I don't have anything uh, in my uh, folder, even though I clearly have MP3s there. And as I said, like it has to be WAV files and they have to be in particular format. They have to be this 16, 24, 32 bit floating point. Also, they have to have sampling frequency of 44.1 kilohertz. And th there's some stuff here as well. Uh, you know, you can't have them longer than 101 minute. And that's fine. Maybe we can find some Pink Floyd songs that are longer than that, but I doubt. This is, again, handy for practice. So let's uh, see what we can do about this. Uh, in, in order to do this, to kind of uh, get my MP3s or other WAV files, because not all WAV files have the same uh, rate and configuration, I use this tool uh, Audacity. Okay, So in this today, the version I have is 325, that's the latest version as of today. Uh, this is free software, just download it, it's very well uh, known and it has a ton of uh, options. But what we're going to do is, like, I'm just going to open one of these. Okay. To open a new window, strangely. Uh, and, you know, I can play it a bit, see how that sounds. Um, but this is mp3, so if I want to create a WAV file, it's pretty simple. You just go and you export, export as WAV file. And it's 32-bit float. You just need to check this, you know, like, oh, what's the value 32-bit is, is usual, save that. So here what appears when you try to save, you know, like, and whatever, genre, doesn't really matter, it, it, it picked it up when I was ripping the CD. Um, so, okay. So I saved that. So in, will this work? Let's see if I go here. Oh, you see now it appears uh, here. I can go and just, I'll just put it at the bottom, track one. Memory position 99. 
and it's super slow whatever like you know this day and age this should be really really fast but anyway I'm guessing these collections here are all free. I, I, could, I, I think I downloaded a few of them and imported them. They, the good thing about them, they come in correct format, you know. So that's it. Uh, but before I go um, and try this out, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open another one uh, here, and you can do as many as you want. You know, like it's uh, I have a couple of backing tracks there, ACDC everyone's favorite band um, <clears throat> one thing to note is and you can import stuff like uh, videos as well with, with some uh, plugins FFMP MPEG uh, libraries needed but like it's very straightforward how to use that so say for example you download something from YouTube or somewhere else you know you can uh, import it here now not all these uh, music videos and, and you know like uh, files that you might have lying around or you imported from a different looper or something like that may not be in the same um, they may not all be in the same with the same sampling rate it, it is 44.1 kilohertz here but in case you have something like 48 which might happen let me see I'm just gonna go on tracks and you can resample this for example and I'm just gonna resample it real quick to 48 okay and now this one is 48 Hertz um, and if you just import it it your, your project rate will be 48 Hertz and uh, 48 kilohertz and you might not notice even that and you know like you go export this uh, file uh, and gonna save it now metal and hard rock yeah we are getting there um, this is now going to be uh, in 48 kilohertz and if I, if I try to import that uh, you see it says unsupported format right but it, it, it's easy to fix as I said like when you open it it will be 48 kilohertz don't worry just go here tracks resample uh, oh, let's select this. Ray sample, and we go 44. Oops, 44. Okay, that's it. Export. Yeah, we're gonna save it. Yes. Okay. We'll try to import it again. And it doesn't work again. Okay, so the problem here is we, I left here project. So just kind of a, some of these things you need to make sure that you're exporting the right thing because this, my project now is 44 kilohertz. Uh, when I change it, I'm going to replace it again. Hopefully this will work now or I'm going to Yay! I'm just gonna import it 99. Easy to remember. Okay, I'm going to disconnect now. It's ready. Disconnect. You can see here I'm on memory 16. Can I go real quick? Uh, 99. Let's play this. Okay, we go to the second track. There it is. And I had to lower the volume quite a bit. And you can see here tracks are really low. So what you want, you might want to do is that some, you know, like, if you're doing this just for practicing purposes because it's your guitars might sound very uh you know um quiet 
compared to the, the, the track, you might, you know, select this here, effect, amplify, but what we're gonna do, we, we, we're gonna kind of lower this maybe twice, you know, and then export this and import here. But like, this is just the way, this, this was just a quick video to, to show how to import mp3s and you know like uh, maybe some uh, files that you might not at first uh, load into your uh, boss rc500 but like it's very easy with uh, audacity to do that pretty and you can do it very quickly hope this helps till next time